Hi, welcome. I am Chaitanya Atle and you are in the introduction to the course in cellular biophysics where we are going to try and introduce concepts, ideas, results, models, experimental methods that will help you to appreciate how we can go from what we consider to be sort of qualitative biology to quantitative biology. And that is the theme of this course. This course is interdisciplinary by definition because it is at the interface of biology, physics, mathematics, biochemistry, physical chemistry, cell biology, molecular biology. This of course, however, means that some of you may find that I don't do enough justice to any one subject. But like any interdisciplinary pursuit, so long as we can use the right amount of detail from each of these disciplines, I hope you will be convinced by the end of this that it is of some utility. And the utility is in terms of the goals of this course, which is to develop an intuitive feeling for the kind of quantitative biology I will be talking about in terms of understanding how molecules produce cellular properties, how to develop a biophysical model that I like to call the art of biophysical modeling, specific models from physics that apply to biology such as random walk models, Euler mechanics, polymer kinetics and mechanics, reaction diffusion from the famous work of Alan Turing, developmental biophysics and for me a very fond topic of phylotaxis. What you are looking at here is a neutrophil that is in a thin film with buffer with red blood cells of a human and the little dots you see wiggling around are Staphylococcus aureus bacteria that are trying to escape the consumption by these neutrophils and finally they are neutrophil caught it. And the real idea is that when you have motion like this, there is mechanics, there is biochemistry, there is polymerization, there is membrane behavior, there are chemotactic processes. A cell does not know the difference between biology, physics, mathematics and chemistry. A cell just does what it does. Our job is to try and integrate these principles and answer the question, how does the cell know where to go? How does it go and how does it perform its immune surveillance function which is in this case to capture a bacterium that could be a pathogen. So I hope you will enjoy this course and learn some of the most exciting science there is today in biology at the interface of two very old disciplines and we will have an exciting journey together on this topic. Thank you.